Hey, it's Luke. I'm the founder of Friday. And in this video, I'm going to show you how routines work. So to give you a high level overview of why we built routines, the basic idea is that we think that you should um, regularly check in, plan, prioritize, and reflect on your work. Um, and oftentimes that information needs to be shared on a repeatable, predictable basis. So if you've ever done any type of regular status report, daily standup, um, check-in, whatever you want to call it, what Friday can do is we can help you automate as much of that process as possible so that you can basically disconnect information sharing and your status updates from the need to stay in a meeting. And so let me walk you through how this works. So if you create an account um, and click on routines, we will show you a variety of templates that you can pick and choose from. Now, if you invite someone to your account, like a team member, we will show you both team and personal routines that you can run. So in the sample account, I have other people on my team. Um, and what you can do is you can pick a template. So, you know, if I want to prioritize my work week or understand what people uh, aim to do for the week, I could do something like a weekly kickoff. If I want to um, regularly understand what my team is working on every day, you should do a daily stand-up. You could also do some type of end of week, uh, like one-on-one -on -one check in so that you can kickstart and have more useful one-on-one -on -one conversations, or you do like a weekly check in or a sprint retrospective with Friday. We can handle anything you can throw at us as long as it's reoccurring and uh, we can automate it. So let's do a daily standup. So if I select the template, we will pre-populate options that you can pick and choose from. So you can see here, we have a few questions that we've pre-populated by default. What did you accomplish yesterday? What's the most important thing you aim to accomplish today? And is there anything you'd like to share? So let's say I wanna change this, right? Do you have any blockers today? Um, or uh, what did you, what are you working on today? Let's do that instead. And then any blockers? So you can see here is these are all open-ended questions, but if you want, you can change the type. So for example, I could add like an emoji question, like how are you feeling and put that first. Or I could change it and ask a one to 10 scale, right? How are you feeling on a one to 10 scale? So Friday, we have different uh, question types to make it easier to get the information that you really need. So let's keep this as an emoji question. We'll change it back. And you can see here, if I just toggle, I can see exactly what uh, the, the participants will see. You can also see we have these uh, things called power-ups. What a power-up does is it extends the routine update kind of and makes it a lot more useful and a lot more interesting and engaging. So what you could do if you wanted is you could keep the kudos power-up and the icebreakers power-up and at the end we ask a couple questions, right? So you can send kudos to a coworker and you can also answer a random icebreaker question. Let's say I don't want the icebreaker question. Well, I can remove that. What you can see is we have a few other options too. Like you could ask uh, goal owners to share an update. So then you can always understand the progress uh, towards a particular goal. So you can load your goals into Friday and then you can report on them in a routine. You can also offer ideas for improving. Like think of this as like a suggestion box. And so let's roll with this. Now let's move on to the participant section. So with Friday, you can pick and choose the participants, right? So this could be a team in Friday. This could be a group of individuals. It could be only the leaders. It could be the entire company. Well, with Friday, you can pick and choose. So you can see I have three people in the workspace. Let's keep it. Let's make it an all company thing. Now let's move on to the options. So the final kind of configuration options is how should we ping participants when it's time to respond and share an update? You can do this over email. You can do this over Slack or Microsoft Teams. We'll basically send a DM or an email saying, hey, it's time to check in. It's time to share an update. Um, you could do email and Slack if you wanted. Um, but yeah, what we will do is we will send a direct message or an email. You also can pick and choose when this uh, routine should run. Does this happen every weekday? Is this you know once a week thing that happens you know on a Monday? Uh, let's do every weekday. You can also pick and choose what time to send the, the, the notification. We offer two options. One, you can send it at a pre-configured uh, time zone, so 9 a.m. Eastern time, or you can send this based on each participant's time zone. So this is really uh, useful for distributed teams. 
You can also configure reminders. So if people don't respond, you can send a final reminder a few hours later or a day later, right? Um, and you can also pick and choose who can see the responses as well. So for a check-in between an employee and a manager, that shouldn't be seen by the entire company. Daily stand-up maybe should only be seen by the respective team. Well, with Friday, you can pick and choose whatever makes sense for you. And finally, you can also uh, share out the responses as they come in. You can push out these responses one by one as they come in into a Slack channel, whether it's public or private. Same is true for Microsoft Teams, or you can send one single notification, we call it the roll-up report, at a particular time. So for example, with a daily standup, you could send this, let's say every day at 2 p.m. We will then link to the, uh, to the corresponding report, and that is a useful way to see the aggregate responses. So I'm just gonna quickly publish this, and I'll quickly show you, here's what it looks like. You can see here, here are the questions that I configured, here are the power-ups that were enabled, and I can also see um, my daily agenda. I can quickly add a task if I want. Um, I can see past responses to make it easy to kickstart uh, you know, the, the future uh, responses. And I can also see the work that I've done in various apps, whether it's Asana, Trello, GitHub, or something else. This sidebar provides useful context makes it easier to send richer, better updates. So anyway, I hope that makes sense, but that is an overview of routines and how they work. And I hope that makes sense. Thanks and have a great day.